To add conditional logic to your form with the Framer Forms plugin, you can start by clicking the Logic button, and then Conditional Logic. In order for conditional logic to work, you need a multi-step form. If you don't have one already, click this button here to add a multi-step form, and then you can follow the instructions there. I'm just going to carry on using the multi-step form that we built in the last tutorial. So you can start by selecting your form, and then you can click the button to add a logic config block. You'll notice it added a block to our page one frame. If you want it to be in our second page instead, you can select our page two frame and then add another logic config block. Today we're gonna to add some logic that sends me straight to page four if I input a specific name in the input field from page one. So I'm just gonna delete the page two logic config block. And then I'm just gonna click the logic config block from the first page and then click conditions in the right hand panel and then just click add. This is where we can set our logic. So since we wanna send our user to page four if they type in a certain name, we'll start by finding out what the input name is for this name field here. To find out, just click the input and copy whatever's written in this name field. I'm just gonna select it and then hit copy just with command C or Control C if you're on a Windows computer. Then we'll go back to our logic block and paste the name into the input field, the input name field here, just like that. Next, we'll choose a type. Conveniently, text is already selected, but make sure to match the type with whatever the type of field you want to apply the logic to. We're also going to keep our condition set to equals but make sure to choose the one that applies to your specific logic. Then I'm gonna set the value to the boss. This means that when someone types in the boss, as it's written here, the logic will apply. Finally, if they do this, I want them to go to the fourth page. So you can see in the layers panel that my fourth page is called page four. So that's what I'll type into this page or into this go to field. So let's check over this logic. So if the name field, which is a text type, equals the boss, go to page four. So it looks like it's gonna work, but there's only one way to know for sure. Let's preview it. Okay, so it looks like the logic worked, but there's a few kinks that need ironing out still. This page counter says we're on page two, which technically is true since it's the second page, but it's a bit confusing for the user since it's also technically page four. We've got a similar problem with this progress bar. Then finally, we've still got a next button, even though it's the last page. This is where we should be getting a submit button instead of the next button. So the best way to fix the progress bar and the page counter is to delete them since it's going to be unreliable with form logic. And finally, we can choose the pages that we want our submit button to be shown. And the way we do that is just by going to this frame of forms multi-step form block here. And we take a look at these properties here. So using custom pages works great if your form has multiple different endings, for example, a quiz. To do so, you just add the page layer name to the pages here. Since ours always ends on page four, I'm just gonna set the end page back to last page. Now we can preview it again and see if it's fixed. So let me start by typing in something other than the boss to see if it still sends me to page two. I'll just type in my name. Great, now I can test it with the boss. Perfect, it's working as it should. So we've got the submit button and it's only showing the previous button here instead of the next button. Logic can be insanely useful, but it can also be pretty tricky the more logic that you add. So you wanna make sure that you're constantly testing after you change anything to make sure it all works. If you have any trouble, you can always watch this video again or check the help center in the homepage of the plugin.